binary files. So. Yeah, no, but I should be able to go, okay, I don't care, uh, use hex editor. I think you've got to build a hex editor, don't you? Hex viewer. Yeah, like, can I change it right now, right? Because there's no preview. I'm like, hex. It's and pick it. Right? Yeah. yeah. It takes a while to generate. It's a large file, too, so it's, should I pick this one, actually? Oops. Well, you mean you want to be able to, to give you a... Uh, right where it says no preview available. But that would have to be a uh, different... Right there. <laughs> on a button. Oh, on a button. On a button. Right there. Right button. Right 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, instead of, what do I do? <laughs> that or, or you need some more little X to kill this. HTML would be the same thing as text. Uh, you have the class on here? You have some class? Sometimes it'll interfere, sometimes it won't. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's not a very uh, clean system. <laughs> it's, uh, clean it up. I should do that someday. <laughs> then you just spend weeks and weeks putting everything back to here and missing when you clean it up. That's what I'm doing now. I, I love that. Where the hell so that goes? Oh, boy. It's a, that's a huge one. Whatever it is. Revenge Explorer. Oh! Jesus. So, so you, you can't escape out of it? No. So, what is it? So, how it tells how you're, what you're writing this in and how you do, you know, how the development process is going. It's up at the same time, line. Did you see the, the, the router mm -hmm. getting through? Mm -hmm. Somewhere. Somehow. Uh, Actually, I developed on Windows, but I feel you lack a very good advanced text editor. Codebench is nice, but it's missing a lot of the tweaks I like. Did you try set? Yes. Try to walk. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, like, what things are you, like, you try looking for? Actually, duplicate line is very common for me. Um, uh, it's just faster in general, and the code bench is rich editor. I think it's smoother. It's more work to write on my Windows FTP it's Amiga pilot. Make one typo, that over. It's three steps every time. Uh, using Ash Drive, I've debated on putting it on there, probably not that. I just slows it down a little bit. Go across the network. Uh, I hope the new version of Codebench is better, a little faster, and smoother, more features that I want. If not, I'm going to write one. That's the next project in mind. Well, <laughs> a better or, text editor. Or come up with, you know, if you have a list of things you're looking for, you can always tell Simon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can tell we'll put it in. Yeah, he's very he's really active good. on this. I mean, he's done, in the course of the last year, hundreds of refinements and done fixes. I didn't know until yesterday, he actually had oh, all of the rich text editor, so. Yeah, that's kind of, he's done a lot of work on all of that. So I didn't know, it's like, it's basic text view now, so put the file. Can't edit or anything, it's just a viewer. Not because that answer. So now, so Steve, you want, now right. you want an editor to clip to pop up, right? No. <laughs> that's, uh, you can do through pushing. Perfect settings, you can do it in his uh, place. Probably do a hook somewhere. Let's see. Text editor, system editor. You can assign it. Wow. Uh, you got it. Uh, you got it. Perhaps it's just, whoa, it's a monster. Uh, okay, MP3s on here? Any song files? Uh, Somewhere. Uh, location of time. Well, they wouldn't play anyways. <laughs> right. You just look at the metadata. Oh. Um, uh, sound files, might. Where did they be? Work data, I think it's called. Work volume data. Let's work data. Where are you going? He's going to presets for the. Uh, oh. The audio is uh, somewhere here. Metadata. Metadata. 
Joseph Samuel. <rire> Yeah. Right. Is the name the date the file? Yes. Right. 
in my accept it actually says what the date and time is. The picture is that right. Of course, there's a reason we do this all the time. We go around here. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about it. Well, jobs is taking pictures of their yeah, gallery. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> but it's annoying. You get an easy tool like that. <laughs> and you could just go from any of the smart green hands and fix it. And otherwise, I'll download it to the event. One of these is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> some go out reading as I suppose to find everything in the XF. <laughs> Further, added a progress bar to it and such, and you can control it and cancel it. And I think that one's 
So Does the command line utility give you percent done or walk down? I can't remember. It's a small machine. I'm trying to get everything, everything into my HTTP downloader, which is like 98% of everything so far. It's a few things that are just kind of lacking that. Yeah, because I know you were using the LHA command line utility to dump out the contents as well. Right. Just export it to a text file and T and read it. Yeah, he loves Costle. Talk to him about it. He's like, Costle wants to be my sister. Anytime I want anything, there's no yet. Yeah, it's a bullshit. Do you see it? Do you have like a download folder with some LHA system? Download folder. <coughs> so that's fine. Download mm -hmm. There it is under devs. Okay, a couple things. Download more than a couple. So you can turn the preview pane back on. There we go, right there. Right there. You can look inside your LHAs. That's nice. You can actually go into your LHA. Now, how are you doing that? Are you actually um, are you uh, extracting it to a temporary location? The file list, no, that's just uh, No, that I understand, but I mean, when you actually go into the archive. Right, that's took a lot of work to figure that one out. Like um, 1,200, it does, yeah. That's a bigger one to show you. So it's just right. a file list, and then what you do is pull out a file on a case by case basis as right. you're right. changing okay. the directory essentially. So if you, you do file, full file right operations now. with uh, with the archive, copy and paste, and so you, can, you can view from inside of it. Oh wait, because it's extracting it. So it's not going to show it mine because it's. I was just wondering what kind of file operations you could do with the archive. As you're browsing the archive, just pull out a couple of files. They want to copy these files out, and it'll right. yeah. just extract those. But you can't modify the archive. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. It's yeah. But you couldn't. I couldn't, for example, delete an item within the archive. You can. So if I delete it while I'm browsing it, it'll go and actually send the, the command to the LHA utility, utility, and it'll modify the archive and you'll right. read the list. Only in LHA, so. Okay. So there's nothing else supports that. So you add and subtract files to the LHAs with, with cut, cut um, paste operations. So you can add individual files into an archive or remove individual files from an archive and it'll do it for you. Right now, remove, yes. Add. Uh, I've had a few problems with it, so I've kind of set it aside. Okay. Because getting it into the directory you want is really hard sometimes. It's a little tricky. The LHA wants you to give it a full path. Yeah. If you don't, or if you have a weird drawer in there, the double name will confuse and just mess everything up. Yeah. I had that problem with the uh, Zadmaster. You can't extract one file. It takes the whole folder tree, parent tree, empty, till it gets to that last file. LHA can extract just that one file. Right. And no folder tree. So it's like. I can support both without being super crazy complicated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Run it back in the entire archive somewhere, adding your file to it, packing it all back, come right in. Right. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kind of well, speaking of the FTP stuff, I mean, don't we, we need a central transport library for all this kind of stuff, don't we? Yeah. I mean, well, we you could use curl. There's loop curl. Yeah. Curl's the best. You get less than you no, I mean, I mean, as, as a library, I, there's not an Amiga, there's not an Amiga shared library version. Then it's not like a that library. Is that makes sense? No, I yeah, use the shared object. Yeah, I'm thinking of Amiga shared library that would, you know, you'd, you'd be able to do FTP, HTTP, you know, just all, and you just standard file operations. It's, it's, it's waiting for you, Jamie. It's waiting for you. 
Curl is huge. But but there's a reason why but there's a reason why people use curl because it supports every believing protocol you can imagine. And it's very easy to use. Like as a from an API if you're as a programmer, it's incredibly easy. So, it's, 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 it's strictly a, a scripted, right? So you have to what, Perl? Yeah, you have to do the scripted, or you just... No, you can call it directly from what's in your lab. You have to, you have to like, essentially connection. It's, 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 it's pretty mm -hmm. simple. There's a website. I haven't looked at it years ago. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. once or twice. Yeah. 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 Curl's the way to go. Yeah. Oh, the target library. You have to be. It might be multi-threaded or something. Over here, in the built-in publication. Right, add your own sites. So, would you use an FTP site? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, because one of the places, <coughs> the unique one of the unique that I've got to work in there, I'm constantly with the FTP offer services. I'm both working at home, I'm constantly FTP to and from. Both of them are to and from um, on the uh, shop. And so, it's like, it's kind of always a chore. Log in and then you get the file, it's kind of you know, yeah. uh, ADFTP. Yeah. But on the other That's hand, if you had something that was up all the time, you just click and there it is, double click, right. and open it. Up here and then you can copy yeah. it. Yeah. Well, that or you, I mean, even like you're doing is you can open things right off the FTP. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you have to be logged in, don't you? Well, I mean, I assume when you set up the FTP sites, you set up your username and password and all that. Yeah, yeah. you have to say they're on the time. Yeah, and then what you do is just then if you click on the site, you get this list right there, you get the previews there, then the won't previews, it won't But if you double click on it, it'll download it. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly, because that would be the whole uh, FTP mount. It tries to download it. See that? Yeah, you have to be not a whole of my previews. It's like, yeah, it's Get the purpose of correctly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I've been, it's just another pro a program to write. I actually started working on something that would lead to it. It was basically something that would sit in the background. ARAPs that would just sit look at different servers and say, right. yeah. got the new files, download it, keep basically a mirror of the server on your system. And, you know, if the timeout didn't occur, we wanted it, it would roll up and say, just look on your machine for it, roll up the server. Yeah, I keep it around because it runs in the workbench. <laughs> oh, well, 
it's fast. And there it is. It's FTP's up. Always more. Always more options. Right, any other there it never ends. You know. Right. Any other interesting things that you encountered uh, API wise that you would like to see changed or that you thought were unnecessarily complicated? Well, they had just a right into actually one here. Right now, you hit enter. My program catches that enter. It's oh. not supposed to. Hmm. Oh, so but you're just getting a path at that point. You're not getting a file. It's supposed to just close the ASL and be done. But for some reason, the raw key is being passed into my program. Is that an ASL oh. or an input device? Huh. I reported that a couple months ago. I reported it to who? Yeah. I uh, yeah. see a whole Javier. I told oh, okay. um, Frederick and no, big skin of things. But well, that's not, is that really I've been oh, telling you. Is that really reporting? Is that just no, 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 having a discussion? Mean, system, what is so it? I'm just really talking to a guy. Yeah. Right. It doesn't. Mean, of Somebody one of them needs to be the other person. Right. Right. And then you have some developer has to wake up right. and go, oh, here's the other side of the way. Yeah. 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 That's the blue one. Yeah. 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 So convert we can do a couple things here. Keep the same format. Yeah. Ah, supported image format. Well, I'm Steven. Seems to be missing a few here. Yeah. You can change the where's kind of they'll save. If you don't want to change it for me, we pick this. You know, we don't have to pick this and see just want to resize it. We keep the same format. You can do that. Or you can change the format, keep the same size. So it's a it's an it's a interesting future, but are you trying to be trying to also be a, uh, an image editor? Thing? Not an editor, it's not just a converter. Yeah, it's, really, it's really handy to have this kind of thing just right. to identify. Like, it's an all the time directory. One thing I look at it and say, I had 50 pictures. I'll make some thumbnails. Pick them yeah. all, keep the same format, just change the size to 100 by 100, make some thumbnails. Okay, that's fine. Nice. See, that, that is, okay, that, I mean, I did that. And then, <laughs> after, and, then, and then you take the resultant files and you can use your smart uh, rename function. Right. And you, know, you can take them back to the original yeah. thing and add, like, underscore thumb or something. Yeah. Yep. So this is complete opposite of the Unix thing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Where this is yeah. not, this is not have one thing that does one thing very yeah. small, very well. This is one thing that does everything. Yes. One tool to rule all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still have a to-do list at home. Uh, uh, like did you have I don't even remember what tool I used for converting a picture to Dropbox. So you have a really first thing to explore is more to explore. For which the browser is so important. That's a good deal. Oh, the browser or Google Docs. How are you going to get that? What you used to do in that's a good deal for a box software. The one guy did it. Whole key school thing. Oh, you're talking about that for a little program. Right. I can't have that. Because there was box files for it, and there was more. It worked fantastic when they used it the first time, and it stopped working. Stephen, have you ever heard back from Frederick about the box file system? No. The what system? The box file system. Oh, file system in OS4 for mounting box drive? Yeah. It worked great. It doesn't work anymore. The box probably changed their mind. The AVI problem we changed. Yeah. That's the trouble with all those internet files. Right. They changed their minds. Yeah. 
Well, in fairness, they don't really care about third-party clients. But they claim to. No, they only claim to care about third-party clients that are enterprise clients in which well, said company shovels money down their throat. Oh, there's an implicit shovel money down the throat. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the other thing also is it's a, it's a great way to get people to start using their service. Yes. They change the protocol. They talk about you have to download their app. Yes. So you have to get a uh, uh, another piece on here for the, the round box. So I'd be curious to find out where you get that. Is that like John? Yep. I forgot. Okay. Offices. So in that, so you install that, and then this thing will work. Oh, right. so so does it just show up? Talk to Frederick and see if you can get him to fix box. Does it auto detect oh, the it being there? Just add it to the list, or is it you have to? Yeah. If you don't auto mount it, it won't pull it until you're ready for it. You guys need like a you can delay the sign or a trigger. Anyway, that was a big reference in the part of me. I didn't even think about that. You know, I just always had a sign. Yeah, I, I use Dropbox. Yeah, it's changed a little bit. Yeah, it's changed a little bit. It's changed a little bit. It's changed a little bit. Great alternative way to get things over to the Amiga right. through the Dropbox share. Of course, we're a little bit. Yeah, it's $10 dollars for the Amiga. Dropbox, Google Drive, Google Play, 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 Google Register oh, right. 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 the key from him to the the Windows machine. <laughs> you know, like this code. And it activates him as a user and verifies your name. So it's just, it's like sort of thing is a Windows app. It's web based, but it's, yeah. That's right. You need a farm prop. He says that right at the Oh, yeah. You need a farm prop. It's a whole but so once it's activated, then it gives you the user hash. Like it's talk about the user version. That's what the user are the chair. I'm going to try that. Well, what Andy wrote is they organized it. Python on the Amiga, and he was using the same diary. Google Amiga. You go in and do that. He pasted it into his program, and then they saw it. He may have hidden the guy's program over, because he kind of liked to let it go. I haven't touched it for nine months, ten months. Yeah, so it's just it's like day one. Yeah. And why do you hear it? Well, if, if you have a... Uh, release on mine. <laughs> uh, if you have a release version, can we yeah. have it? Yeah. Because it's also that really good value. Well, we can't download anything because we can't get right. it to the net. So it's on here too. Uh-oh. That's not gone well. Well, it's, it's the it's USB stick. Yeah, so. You can do that. New feature. <laughs> what did it say? It said corrupt. What file system? Or it's a USB. Just a very rare file. FAT? Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, more yeah, 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 yeah. on here and on here. And, and, and we'll see it tomorrow. tomorrow. And we'll see it tomorrow. tomorrow. So. Right. Yeah, I'll see more today on mine if you want. Yeah. Hope check out more things. I don't think it really corrupted. No. Yeah. They're very rough fast. What happened with yours in the uh, set of cable, graphics card? Graphics card. You want the seating right properly all the way down? Right. Yeah. Broken clip or something? Yeah. Oh. Uh, brought a new card in, pop it in. So the new card worked for the new graphics card. Thank you. We're, We're bleeding stuff. We're going to bring it for lunch. For some reason. For some reason. Yeah. So I mean, the vampires in the Georgians are kind of big. Yeah. Oh, that's the one. Oh, that's the one. They charge something up. Yeah, I said one. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, I'm just like, you know, yeah, I'm just like, you know, 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 I